What's going on guys? Welcome to uh, I think the fifth AWS or just uh, VPS web server tutorial. Where we left off, I was just showing you guys that you, it's kind of hard to run these two things simultaneously. So how do we actually run them um, at the same time as each other? What you can do is uh, say you want to do uh, Python running 2.py. You can run it in the background with the and sign right there. And so I, I guess it's really called the ampersand. Anyway, um, so now it's running and it it looks like almost the same thing we saw before. Like if I said P Y T, you can see how uh, it's kind of like running over our text. But if I hit um, Control C, I can't break the script, right? So it is running in the background, but it's kind of spamming at us. But you just kind of need to uh, ignore the spam because it's just printing to console. So if you had a, a program, you would just not print to console, maybe. <laughs> But anyway, so so we're running um, test two in the in the uh, background. So now uh, we can go Python running one dot pi. It's very hard to type this out, uh, and we'll hit enter. And now you can see we're running them both, right? We're printing out Python one or test one, test two, test one, test two. But test one, Python one, is running in the foreground. So when we hit Control C and keyboard interrupt, that one stops. But test two continues running. Now, uh, the same thing though, we can go uh, python running 1.py ampersand go and now they're run they're both running uh, in the background, right? But you can bring them to the foreground with uh, fg, right? And so now uh, we can keyboard interrupt uh, at least that one. Let's see if we can catch two. Let's try fg again. There we go. So now they're both uh, stopped. So that's how you can run them like two scripts or, or multiple scripts at the same time as each other. Obviously it's pretty annoying when you're printing uh, stuff out like that but that's really not necessary. You don't need to be printing out to console. The other thing that you, you can do and you'll uh, either incorporate it within your script, have a log file that just prints out everything that it does <clears throat> or you can actually uh, program in to have a log file and what I'm about to show you you, uh, is going to log it by default as well. So anyway, that's how you can get scripts to run simultaneously. But the problem with this is when your user goes to log out. If you log out, these programs uh, will cease to run. Uh, luckily, there is a way around that, and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys in the next video. So as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support and your subscriptions, and until next time.